welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my weekly grocery haul and meal plan. So I've got about a $140 grocery haul from Walmart grocery pickup and then I have like a $28 um, from Aldi's. So I'm going to share with you guys what all I picked up. I'm going to share with you my meal plan. But first, if you are new here, I would encourage you to consider subscribing to my channel. I do weekly meal plans and grocery hauls um, and I upload those to my channel every week. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into the haul. All right, so here's my meal plan for the week. Today is Saturday, and that's when I normally pick up my groceries. Today, we actually are going to go out um, and go to our local pizza buffet. We have been wanting to do that for a couple of weeks now, so we are going to splurge a little bit and do that. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to make a Mississippi roast with mashed potatoes and Brussels sprouts. Monday, we're going to do spaghetti. Tuesday, sausage and rice skillet. Wednesday is going to be soup and sandwiches. Thursday, we are going to hopefully have some leftovers and clean out our fridge. And then Friday, mama need a break, drive through. So yeah, that is our meal plan for this week. Hopefully we'll have leftovers of all of this stuff so that Jeff can take that for his um, lunch and this and that. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I picked up at Aldi's. All right, so the main reason that I go to Aldi's is because their milk is so cheap. It is 99 cents a gallon. You cannot beat that. So, while I'm in there, I go ahead and pick up my produce because I like to kind of see what, you know, that looks like. Because, <laughs> you guys, if you've been watching for a couple of weeks, um, a couple of weeks back, I got some bad broccoli and it just put a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> no pun intended. So, anyway. Um, anyway, all right, so we got some oranges here or mandy's they're called mandy's but they're mandarin oranges they're really good i got these the last time and they were delicious got some gala apples here i got a bunch of strawberries some mozzarella cheese i shred this and put this in um the quesadillas got some broccoli here the boys were with me so you know if you got kids with you they always like throwing stuff in the buggy so <laughs> hayden got a lunchable I got Harrison his packets here. He absolutely loves these things. And if you have a child that does not eat very well or won't, pick, won't eat vegetables and fruits and things like that, these things are awesome. I love them because they're organic. You can see that they're not rotten. You can see through the packet. I love that. And they, um, a lot of them have fruits and vegetables mixed in. So there you go. I got some dishwasher powder packs, and then I got four gallons of milk because, yes, we go through some milk around here. All right, the next thing is Walmart grocery pickup. If you guys have not tried it, I will leave a referral code down below. It will give you $10 off of your first order. It also gives me $10 off for referring you, so if you use it, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It helps me out, but I do recommend it. Just be careful with the fruits and vegetables because... I had, you know, that situation happen, which it, it has, it only happened once, but still, it's just, is in my head. So anyway, all right, got a loaf of the artisano bread, got a loaf of regular white sandwich bread here. I've got six English muffins. We're going to make, um, some sausage, egg and cheese, um, English muffins a couple of mornings. You'll see those, um, later on in the hall, the, uh, sausage patties. I got a bag of cheese balls. This was a substitution. I actually asked for the crunchy um cheese chippy things whatever I like cheetos got a bag of glacier ranch here these are like the cooler ranch doritos fruits um i did go ahead and get a couple there because you know life got some bananas you have to excuse harrison in the background he's playing with his toys he's being good i've got him watching blippy in the living room with some cheese and apple juice Got some celery sticks here. I love to buy my celery sticks like this because they're already cut up and they're ready to go. And usually I'll trim the ends off because, you know, they kind of dry out before I use them. But anyway, there's that. Got a bag of the Brussels sprouts. Got some russet potatoes for our mashed potatoes one night. Um, I've been wanting to try this. This is the Pioneer Woman Garden Vegetable um, Spaghetti Sauce. So we're going to try that one night. I've heard it's really good. It better be. I um, know it will be. I'm just being funny. Spaghetti noodles. Got some bacon soda here because we were running low in the house. Got some semi-sweet chocolate chips. I always get the mini for my um, chocolate chip cookies because I feel like they spread out more in the cookie and not just a big chunk of chocolate in a cookie. 
um, cans back here. We, we've got soup and sandwiches one night. So I got two cans of tomato soup. I've got three cans of just the regular uh, golden corn. I've got two cans of beef broth and one can of chicken broth. And those, um, the beef broth is actually going to go in the Mississippi roast that I'm making tomorrow. So, got some light brown sugar here. We've got hey, uh, Jeff's drink packets that he likes to put in his water, the orange early rise. I've got a bottle of log cabin syrup here. I like it because there's no high fructose corn syrup in there. If you've been around my channel for a while, you know, ooh, you'll know that that's the one we usually buy. Got some all-purpose flour here. Got a little feller here. <laughs> he's usually not here when I do my grocery hauls because he's just, he likes to take things and run away with them. So I'm sure that's about what's about to happen. Got some almond sweet and salty bars. Got some granola protein bars. I've got some more of the fudge dip chocolate chip sunbelt bars. And then I got some fiber brownie chocolate fudge bars. And I got all of these because of the way Jeff's work is. He is out on the road most of the day, so Matt. convenience foods work Matt. best for him. Mm -hmm. That's syrup. We got some turkey sausage sticks here. This is a nice little snack that Jeff can take with him on the road. Matt, Shh, okay, hold on a minute. Hold on. I got the Great Value brand, but apparently they were out, so they subbed this for me. I've got some natural Oscar Mayer turkey breast. I've got one pound of lean ground beef. That's going to go in our spaghetti. All right, so I've got 24 slices of mild cheddar cheese here for sandwiches. And then this is for the Mississippi roast. Um, this is a chuck pot roast. It's a um, little over two pounds and then the ranch packet and the au jus goes with that with the pepperoncinis but I already have the pepperoncinis in my refrigerator so that's gonna be that got turkey sausage for our sausage sausage and rice skillet one night um, I found this recipe on Pinterest and it is delicious it is so good so we've had it a couple of times I always usually get a thing of bacon, um, either to fix with breakfast or, you know, we are having Brussels sprouts, so I might make my Brussels sprouts and bacon again. More than likely, probably will um, do that. So, um, did I already say cream cheese and butter? I can't remember because Harrison came in here moving stuff around. Cream cheese. Um, that's going to be for cream corn to take to Jess' grandmother tomorrow. And then I got a four count of the regular butter, salted, because that's the one I usually get. My coffee duo here, whipped topping and the Hershey's International Delight, my fave. All right, frozen stuff. I got a six count of the, the corn dogs we would normally get. I got some seasoned French fries to make with that. That's just kind of like a lunch option. Buttermilk waffles here. These are really good um, in comparison to Eggo. And then we've got these before, and they're just regular. They're fully cooked sausage patties. You can either, like, fry them in the pan, or you can put them in the microwave, whatever you choose to do. They are really good. We've had those in the past. Got Diet Pepsi here, our favorite. Also needed diapers. And toilet paper. This is the toilet paper I usually get. Got some peroxide because we were running low. Some more toothpaste. And a shower liner. All right, so that is going to do it for my Walmart and Ollie haul today. Hope you guys have enjoyed my video. Um, I did go over my budget again. Imagine that. But whenever you have to buy non-food items like diapers, oh my gosh, they are so expensive. And you just throw them in the trash can. It kind of blows the budget. So it is what it is. We'll have to try better next week. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I would love to have you come back each time I make one of these videos. Anyway, I hope everybody has a great week, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.